What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Car Show. I got another tutorial. Today we'll be learning Power by Kanye West, a little classic that goes something like this. So let's learn how to play it. All right, so we're gonna start with the uh, the little sound effect that he makes with the uh, you know the the kids that are singing. Um, you know the little bump 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 bump. Super simple. You're gonna start on the eighth fret of the D string, and then you're gonna go up to the fifth fret of the G string. And then you're going to go to the eighth fret of the B string. And then the sixth fret and play, and then you're gonna play the sixth fret of the B string. And together that should sound like. And then it repeats three times. When you get to the third one, you're gonna start with on the sixth fret of the high E. You're gonna play a little. So that's gonna be six on the high E, eight on B, six on B, eight on G and then back up to six on B, and then eight on B. And then you're gonna repeat it. And then you're gonna go six, eight, six, eight. And then you're gonna go up to, go, you're gonna go up to five on G down to eight on eight on D and then back up to five on G. So that whole thing, that whole piece of this should sound like. And all of it together should sound like. Now let's learn a little piece where it goes like 21st century. Dun, dun, dun. You know what I'm talking about. So to start that part, you're gonna play eight on the, the eighth fret of the D string four times. It's, 20, it's 21st and then it's the start of century. And then you're gonna go up to the fifth fret of the D string. Close out century. Twenty first century. Twenty first. Twenty first century. Twenty first century. And then you're gonna go back to the eighth fret of the D string. And then you're gonna go up to the fifth fret of the D string. Play that twice. Okay, now there's another, th this is the actual guitar riff um, that we're about to learn that plays throughout. And it starts on the fifth fret of the G string. Play it once. Then you go up to the eighth fret of the G string. Play that once. Down to the seventh fret of the G string. Play that once. And then you go back down to the fifth fret of the G string. So that should sound like. 
and then you should slide over to the, the fifth fret of the D of the D string. Yeah. Just sound like. One, two, three, and four. Then you should start on the fifth fret of the D, and then then you play eighth fret of the D. Then you play fifth fret of the G. And then you play seventh fret of the G three times. Twice. And then you go back to the fifth fret of the G. And then you close it out by going to the seventh fret of the G string, eighth fret of the G string, and then eighth fret of the B string. And then if you want to, you can throw the uh, eighth fret of the low E string three times. So that riff, the actual guitar part of power should sound like. Let's learn the solo when the beat breaks down and he switches to the synth, when he goes to the synth synthesizer. The part that goes. Right, let's break that down step by step. So you wanna start on the ninth fret of the G string, and then you wanna play the eighth fret of the G string, and then you wanna hammer on between eight and nine alternating. It's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty tough to explain. Um, just keep practicing it until it sounds like that. Anyways, once you get the hammer on part down, you go. You go down to the fifth fret. You go, yeah, you go down to the fifth fret of the G string. So you go. Then you go seven on G, eight on G, and then six on D. Then you go six on D, five on G, seven on G. Then you go to eight on high E for a little dun 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 dun. So that's. Eight, six on high E, that's nine on B, A on B. You're gonna play that sequence once, and then you're gonna repeat it. So it should be back to back. Okay, so once you've repeated this pattern twice, Then you go six on B, eight on G, six on B, eight on G, six on B again, eight on G, six on B, seven on G. seven on G, you want to go up to five on G, and then four on G. You go four, five, seven, 
eight all on G. Right? And the entire solo should sound like And we'll learn a little piece where they're singing like, this is gonna be a beautiful death, jumping out the window, right? We're gonna learn that part. They should start in the fifth fret of the D string, over to the fifth fret of the G string. So this will be, uh, this should on the D once, fifth fret of the G four times. 7th fret of the G. That's twice. And then you go back to the 5th fret of the G. Then the 5th fret of the D. So that's 5th fret of the D once. 5th fret of the G four times. 7th fret of the G twice. And then you go fifth fret of the D, G, fifth fret of the D. Now for jumping out the window, you want eight on G. And you play three times, four times. And then you go over the eighth fret of the B string. And then you go up to the sixth fret of the B string. And then for letting everything go, you want to alternate between the sixth fret of the B string and the eighth fret of the G string. And you're going to finish on the fifth fret of the G string. Now that whole riff about this should be a beautiful death, that should sound like... And I'll even teach you how to play the little bump, 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 bump that goes out to the that transitions you to the part where the lasers start going crazy on the song, right? So that's fifth fret of the G string, twice. And that's the fifth fret of the D string, once. Sixth fret of the G string, once. Back to the fifth fret of the G string. Yep. So there you have it. That is Power by Kanye West. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button um, and make sure you subscribe so you can catch more tutorials. Had fun with this one, hope you did too. Catch you later for another tutorial.